today we're going to mount a CB antenna and our handheld CB radio and install it on the Forerunner. We would like to attach it uh, just up here at the back on the roof basket on the lower part here that way it doesn't sit as high. So this here is the kit that we have uh, for the CB radio setup that we kind of planned out for the Forerunner. So this here is a Uniden Pro 401 uh, HH handheld CB radio. Uh, it does come with a little small whip antenna, but you take that off. We want to take that off um, for putting it in the Forerunner. Uh, another thing with this radio, uh, it comes with a uh, like cigarette lighter plug-in that can uh, just keep it powered constantly. It does have room for a whole whack of AA batteries in the back. Um, I might get some rechargeable ones for if we want to take it out of the vehicle while we're out adventuring around in the woods so that you can walk around and still have contact with whoever you're with uh, at the time who might have a CB radio. Um, so that's why we went with the portable option. The next piece of kit that I bought was a uh, Wilson uh, CB radio antenna mount. It's an aluminum bracket with four stainless uh, bolts and then it also comes with the bracket that holds the antenna. So the idea is you take the antenna, it comes out here, and then you can plug your coax cable in the back of it, which I'll show you. Uh, the next piece of kit is the coax. This is a 18 foot Road Pro coax cable and it has uh, two PL259 connectors on it. I have these uh, adapters that fit into the coax here and then this side can fit onto the CB radio antenna uh, spot here on the top. So this is the uh, antenna mounting spring. It's also stainless, uh, made by Wilson. And uh, this spring here uh, will go into the mounting bracket and then the Fire Stick 2, it's a uh, Fire Stick FS2R tunable two foot antenna. I just happened to be red. Um, this will go into the spring, which will then go into the bracket. So with all these parts, hopefully we can uh, get her working and then I'll have better communication between uh, Tyler and I when we do our rough cuts off-roading. So because I want to make this sort of a non-permanent solution, uh, I want to kind of protect the roof rack here. So I picked up this uh, busted bike tire from a local store. They just gave it to me. So I'm going to cut a section and wrap it around the bottom part of the roof basket. So here's the Wilson bracket and these nuts here are 11 millimeters. So I've got my, I'm just going to loosen them off so I can get it on. So one thing I checked when I picked out the bike tube was that it was big enough to span the width of the bracket. So I'm just going to try and measure once around. So about there. And we'll try that. So hopefully, hopefully the piece of bike tube just sitting here will be uh, thin enough for the bracket to fit around the cage here. So there's the antenna just loosely put in, minus the spring of course, um, but just to give it an idea of that it's pointing straight up from the side. doesn't look too bad from the front either. From the back, that looks okay. Okay, so the bracket is now on. And what I'm thinking is I might just keep it there uh, and I'll just take the antenna off when we don't want to use it and try and find like a little cap I could put in here. Maybe a little screw or something to keep water from resting in there. So now what I'm gonna do is take my 18 foot coax cable 
and uh, attach to the bottom of here and then now root it where I'm thinking I might just run it along the inside of this rail here down and then just have the wire come into the door and then run it underneath this uh, plastic liner here down the A pillar and then up over the dash. Uh, what I like to do is have the clip on the back of the radio slide into the cup holder and then I just push the cup holder in so the radio can sit like that and then I can just have my cable come down plug in here and when I'm not using it I can just tuck it underneath the dash behind the GPS here. And instead of running it along the dash, I can run it underneath the steering wheel where I also have the uh, GPS cord running. So I can run it underneath this panel here over top the steering wheel and just have it hang out down here. That way I can just run it up and come to the radio. So the coax runs from this antenna bracket behind this bar down into the door. Uh, I might try and find a better solution for so it doesn't keep getting pinched in the door. But for now, this will work. Up behind this cover, all the way along to the A pillar. Down the A pillar. And then I popped this panel off just slightly so I could get it behind it. And then up or down over the steering wheel, down by the parking brake. And then I popped off this cover here. And now the cable is coming out down here. So now I have the coax cable end here. And then I have my little adapter. So I'm just going to screw that on into the top of the radio. and it'll sit like that. Um, I might get a mic that goes in the side here so I can just have it handheld, but for now, I think this will work just fine. I'm gonna tighten this nut down here onto the bracket itself so it doesn't move. So now what I'm doing, this is just some dielectric grease. This uh, threaded pin here just twists out of the spring. So I'm going to twist it in and then you can see it's grooved right here. So I have my flathead screwdriver and I'm going to cinch it down into the spring and then this goes into the top of the mounting bracket there. So this is a tunable antenna and uh, what there's like a little nut under here where you can adjust the distance underneath this cap um, to optimize, I guess, reception. The only downside to having the radio here is running your fan control and everything. Okay, so now she's on. Let's see if we can hear anybody. So we're still going to have to tune uh, the antenna, but I think this will be a pretty decent setup 
for now in order to uh, communicate between another vehicle with some CB uh, capabilities. So thanks for watching and that's how we uh, hooked up the CB and then we can put it to the test in uh, on a Rough Cuts episode. Thank you.